and here you could see one of my picture, recent picture about an interpretation of a landscape in the north of Wales beyond uh, Leibala, that area or Leiberni, Leibala um, in the periphery of the Snowdonia National Park. I am interested in the relation or the scale, the light and the darker, the dark areas on the green, the heavily intense uh, ultramarine blue and the ultramarine green. Uh, by the way, the, way, the word ultramarine do not mean blue, it means beyond the sea. That means a pigment who is no uh, easy to combine in this part of Europe. You have to go to India. It's called ultramar. Mar is, is mean the sea in Latin and in Spanish. Um, I do call that green ultramarino as well. And it's very common or it's very abound, abound, abundant in the north of Wales where I live. And I focus on the element of the weather. Um, the relation or the constant transformation of the weather um, and the shadow, the foreground and areas around here and similar to Cuba, I remember when I was a child uh, going around looking for mangoes and fruit in the forest and then you have these crevices where the water coming down, mainly the waterfall and as the erosion of the, the ground, the tree is trying to stay steady and you see the root, who are like fingers, try to hold into the soil and those areas where you have to go places where you can walk in. It's something profound and interesting for me, th that area where the, the tree is trying to grasp into the uh, cliff. Um, those areas where you can, you can have exposure the elemento or the soil and the root of the tree. Um, and here uh, I like that tree who is nearly by the you know near by the water different to the one that's near by the water. And the erosion and the little tiny tiny heather I don't know how you in Cuba we have different uh, elements of those um, pine areas mountain where you have the crevices and you have go the waterfall. It's a very famous waterfall in Wales that I can't remember. But you have places in Cumbria and the Lady Street where you have got that element of water everywhere. I remember reading about Ruskin, the, the English um, writer and, and art critic and artist as well, who say he built a house in, in the late Windermere, if I remember. In, Cumbria, and he was constantly fighting with the water for the house building back on the position again the lake. Um, it's mainly uh, wells into my head. Tiny, tiny details that I remember when, because quite similar, even the difference with the weather, we have got four seasons here, and we have got two seasons in the Caribbean. Uh, I do remember as a child walking by myself into the mountain and the forest and those tiny little um, plant who grow very tiny tiny uh, like a forgive me not and on the head and very specific uh, it's a beautiful poetical memory and I'm trying to uh, combine a both idea and especially that area around here where you have got the mountains and you have the humidity and the afternoon where the yes, wind blow the bees around there and you have go the beautiful, beautiful temperature and uh, climatic temperature or different area with different temperature. That is why I'm interested. The temperature of the color in combination with the real temperature of the degree like in the area where the wind blow 
and you have the mist coming around here and you have got the cold difference between um, it's mainly a, a poetical interpretation of those places in Cuba and in Wales.